I frequently ask this question to myself, do I pay attention to my own self? Do I make and do I give time for myself? Well, I think and it works very well for me when I have an answer with an yes. When I'm happy, I can make others happy too. It's like that oxygen mask that needs to be fitted in first to yourself in all situations of life. I bought this fabric a few weeks back from a local shop from a marketplace. And this lace is from Amazon, bought online. It's a gorgeous color, quite unique and with the new trend of sarees these days of not having a separate pallu pattern, I thought I can create a saree for myself from buying fabric in meters. Very important to check the length when buying it. It has to be sufficient enough and the fabric left to tuck in as well. I measure the length of the pallu, having it on my shoulder to my height and mark it up. I love stitching and I find it very relaxing when I work in my own pace creating something for my own self. I have a very simple thought on mind that I can create a fabulous piece at the end. If it works, let's hope so. I start attaching the lace from the marker point to begin with and when I reach to the end, I turn the fabric lifting the footer and continue stitching creating a lovely look at the corner. It's very important to mix and match the right color of fabric to the lace. As I had bought the lace online, it was just in my own imagination. Um, but now with it coming together, it is blended in very well. I'm not just making an addition to my wardrobe, but I'm also giving a lot of time in doing what I enjoy the most. So pleased with the outcome that this sari is giving a designer wear look, which would have easily costed me four times the amount that I have spent. Happy to have it in my wardrobe. Take a break when we need to, to when we want to as well. Don't have to overload yourself with working continuously. I energize myself with healthy beautifying drink with apple, carrot and ginger. I chop the apple and add it into the blender. Carrot with the skin. Yes, I have given them a good wash. And the hero of this drink is this fresh ginger. It's good for your skin, hair, reducing gas and improving digestion too. I add oat milk, honey as one of the best sugar substitute and I blend it in. The strong pungent flavor of ginger adds in great kick to the drink making it super tasty. I ensure to sit down, relax and enjoy the drink. It's a beautiful view after all the rain. How can I let this go without sitting down and enjoying the view? How many of us actually make it a point to sip any drink of your choice at your own leisure? It is us who need to answer our own self. And this rain has actually reminded me of my very favorite childhood memory that has been faded away with the time. That I had almost forgotten about it. So I thought I should be paying attention to my favorites too. I love boiled salted peanuts. Let's do it. I wash them and soak in water. It's been three years time. I haven't visited India and shopping Indian stuff has become a dream. This is a small dupatta of my little baby that she no longer uses it and I am reusing it today. I fold it up into quarter and cut it, giving four individual pieces. I layer them one above the other in a pattern with the hanging section on top and bottom. I attach all four of them with the help of the sewing machine on all the three sides. turning it upside down, creating a portly, a purse. I fold up the top fabric, adding color and pattern and ensuring the hangings are visible. I stitch it up on both the corners with the help of needle and thread. And a small stitch in the center, not very visible, but holding the fabric together. I use the Christmas presentation bobbles and tie them on both the ends of glittery string and tie it 
around to create a traditional potli to match with any of your outfits. The next day, I transfer the peanuts into a pressure cooker and add fistful of Himalayan pink salt and water. I set to pressure cook for 20 whistles and then drained the water into a sieve. One of my very favourites that had completely vanished from my memory that I recalled now to treat myself. I can finish off the whole bowl but I'm happy to share and enjoy it more with my babies. I just love the combination of coconut milk and coconut oil, cold pressed extra virgin. For lunch, most of the days, I just eat leftovers. Never have I ever made anything just for myself as in one portion. Today, I thought let's do it. In a saucepan, I add in rice vermicelli noodles, hot water to soak them in. After a couple of minutes, I drain the water. In the same saucepan, I add in coconut oil, garlic and ginger paste. I have some broccoli florets frozen that I love to add. I sauté them for a minute or two. Adding in coconut milk and very little of water to create curry. I felt the need of adding in more coconut milk to make it thick and creamy. I add in chilli flakes, curry powder, red chilli powder, salt to taste. Giving it a good mix and allowing it to come to a boil. Enjoying it fresh and hot. It was quick fast, easy, using just one pan and the joy of incorporating all your favourites and creating a dish of your own is very good. I sprinkle in a few pine nuts, keeping it simple, quick, easy, fresh and hot, a restaurant dish made at home in minutes. And I am enjoying a very peaceful, satisfying lunch, just me, myself. Remember the ice tray that I had filled? Two portions of milk, I scoop out one and apply, rub the ice cube onto my face. Ensure you do the whole process close to the tap in a sink. It can be a bit messy. Wash your face with water. You can see that instant glow on your face. Again, a long lost habit that I haven't been doing. I got dressed in the sari. It is super soft and was easy to drape and looked beautiful that I did get a few compliments for my sari from people passing by. And I can't even remember when was the last time I got a facial done. I do have a lot of white heads that my face needs to be cleaned. For which, I have recently bought this Radiance Spin Care System and have seen great results that I highly recommend. First, I give a splash of water on my face and wash my face with Body Shop's Drops of Youth and attach the facial cleansing brush, gently moving it in circular motion to remove the excess dirt from my skin. And now I attach the exfoliation brush with my favorite cleanser, moving the brush across my face and all over. I can actually see and feel the instant results with my skin going smooth and feeling all clean. These brushes are so easy to rinse and clean. After a very busy week that I had, these feet of mine needs to be relaxed. I soak my feet in warm water for a good 15 minutes time. And the feeling that I can't even express in words how good I felt. Very, very, very relaxing. I have attached the pumic stone and now rotating on my foot. So much of heart cell that was not even visible is off. I'm just feeling so clean and all good. I shall leave a link of this wonderful product in the description box, which has an amazing 70% off. So please make sure to check that out. I really hope you liked today's video of looking after yourself. Much needed one, right? So I hope you look after yourself, treat yourself, pamper yourself. You are really worth it.